Professor, Professor, I want a new problem to multiply. Piggy, you solve all of the easy problems too quickly. I will give you a problem that's a bit harder. How much is two times twenty? Okay, I'll count in cookies. Two times twenty. This means we have twenty groups of two cookies. So that's two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Oh, it looks like it will take me some time. Piggy, there is a multiplication trick that makes problems like this easy. Do you want me to tell you the trick? Sure, I love tricks. I call it the flip trick. I will show you. Look at this shelf. How many rows of bottles do you see? Hmm, there are four rows. Yes, and how many bottles are in each row? Two bottles. So we can say that there are two times four bottles on the shelf. Now let's flip the shelf. Look at the shelf now. How many rows of bottles do you see? Two. And how many bottles are in each row? Four. Then we can write this down as four times two. Has the total number of bottles changed after we flipped the shelf? No. Exactly. The total number of bottles hasn't changed. This means two times four equals four times two. When we flipped the shelf, the numbers in the multiplication flipped around, but the answer didn't change. This trick works with any combination of numbers. For example, this shelf has four rows of three bottles. That's three times four. If we flip the shelf, there will be three rows of four bottles, and that makes four times three. So then, if we flip the shelf with seven rows of one bottle, what will the problem be? One row of seven bottles. Yes. And when we flip shelves, the number of total bottles doesn't change. This is the flip trick. You can flip numbers around in multiplication, and it doesn't change the answer. The answer's always the same. Let's look at some more examples. If five times two is ten, then two times five is also ten. If one times nine is nine, then nine times one is also nine. If ten times three is thirty, then how much is three times ten? The answer is also thirty. Yes. Remember, the flip trick works for any multiplication problem. Can you solve the first problem now? I think I can. It'll be easy. Let's see. Two times twenty. We can flip the numbers, and that's twenty times two, which is two times twenty. So the answer is forty. That means twenty times two is forty, and two times twenty is also forty. Good work, Piggy. Do you want another problem? Sure, I will use the flip trick. How much is three times eleven? Three times eleven. We need to take eleven groups of three. Hmm. I think we need to flip the numbers to make it easier. This makes eleven times three. That's eleven three times. So, eleven twenty-two thirty-three. Thirty-three. Three times eleven is also thirty-three. Great job, Piggy. Now let's take a break for lunch. Oh hi, Kelly. Do you know the multiplication flip trick? No. Don't worry. I'll explain it to you. Kids, please don't try to show the flip trick to your parents using the furniture in your house. 
your parents may stop you from watching our channel. And remember, if you enjoy this adventure and want to see some new videos, like and subscribe. And please let us know if you like the flip trick in the comments.